Hey everybody, this is Roberta Blake of RobertaBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about five different ways that you can make money off of your video content. A lot of you are doing DSLR video in addition to your photography. A lot of you are wondering how you can actually monetize this and make some real money off of your video production and video editing skills. So in this video, I'm gonna cover some different ways, at least five different ways that you can actually monetize your video production and video editing skills, make some real money at it. Now, one of the most obvious ways is going to be uploading content to YouTube and other online platforms that allow for monetization through advertising, brand deals, and sponsorships. This one is pretty straightforward. Um, obviously, I've been successful at doing that on YouTube. I do a whole other video about how much money you can stand to make doing that and six different ways you can specifically make money off of YouTube. But again, just in covering what you can do as someone who makes videos, you can make money off of YouTube. Obviously, you could also make money through things like some new products that are coming out like Vessel. Vessel is a new content platform for people looking to make money online with their videos. There is a tip jar feature in Vimeo Pro as well. So these are online platforms that you can use to monetize your content. If you're good at doing instructional videos, maybe you can make an e-course uh, for Udemy and you can monetize online video that way. So again, these are ways you can make money online with your video content. So that's one down and four to go. So next, let's talk about selling your services as a video editor. Maybe you're not good at shooting footage. Maybe that's not your skill set, but you're really good at editing with either Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro. So something you could do for people who make content, uh, maybe somebody like me, if, you, if I hired an assistant, maybe you could make money as a video editor. That would be great, and there's a lot of things you can do with that. Sometimes it'll come down to more than just cutting up videos. Sometimes you'll need to get B-roll and audio tracks for those videos, and you can use a service like Videoblocks or Audioblocks to do that. And they're actually sponsoring today's video, and as I said before, YouTube sponsorships are another great way to make money online. But then if you have something like video blocks and audio blocks, which I've been using them for about maybe a month and a half, two months now. The good thing about that is you might've seen that in some of my videos that I've been cutting in some B-roll footage when I want to explain something. This is a great way to add some value to your video editing services. So not only is someone being able to pay you for video, but they're paying you for the ability and the access you have to get footage that they may not have been able to supply you with and make the videos a lot more interesting and fancy. You can get audio stuff from audio blocks without having to worry about, well, can you use it or any limited license? All this stuff is unlimited. And if you have the $99 a year subscription with a video editing gig, typically for what you can charge for that, you'd be making that money back probably in the first gig and then some. So um, that's a great service that you can use. Again, I've been using it. That's where I'm getting some of my audio tracks. That's where I'm getting some of my B-roll footage. And if you use that, you can just add value proposition to your video editing services. Now, in terms of what you could charge, and I could do a whole other video on what you should charge for video editing, it really depends. I don't necessarily like doing outright hourly rates for that. I believe it has to be a fixed range depending on what you're doing. I would really say that you wanna go the, what you are going to charge per project rate and figure that out based on what you can provide. Maybe if you're doing the B-roll and adding audio, you charge a service fee for that in addition to whatever your standard fee or whatever your hourly rate is. So that might be something you need to think about in terms of how you charge for video editing. And I think I will do a whole dedicated video to pricing video editing and video production. If you have specific questions for me about video editing prices and video production prices, make sure you're leaving that stuff in the comment section below so I can try and get to it. And if the answer to that's too long for a comment, I'll make sure that I cover it in an upcoming video. So since we covered B-roll and background audio, there's another interesting opportunity that you can use to make money as someone who produces video or edits video. And that's actually selling your footage and Videoblox actually does have a marketplace that is exclusive to its members where you can actually sell your video footage. Now, the interesting thing about this is typical stock sites, unlike Videoblox, you could go to them, iStock, whoever else, but they're gonna take a large percentage of your royalty. 
With video blocks, they're actually letting you keep the royalty on your footage when you sell it. So that means if somebody is in the video blocks marketplace and they buy your footage, you're getting the money for that. You're not doing a 50-50 split with video blocks on that. You're getting that money. So that's tremendous. And if you're someone buying direct footage from somebody instead of what's just in the normal stock library, you get a big discount. You get up to 40% off on that footage if you're a member. Uh, so that's something that's exclusive to VideoBlox users, and that's one of the other benefits of um, having that. And the way, the reason I like it is because with the seven-day trial, if you cancel early, you can roll into the $99 a year annual subscription instead of the more expensive monthly subscription with that. So I would say make sure you're doing that, and that for the cost of what it is, that you loop this back around because now, if you sell a piece of stock footage for like $200, then you've already covered yourself for two years on it. So if you think about it, there's all kinds of things you could be doing if you're traveling, or maybe you have some great product shots, uh, you've got a slider or something. There's all kinds of interesting things you could do. You could shoot stuff of wind chimes. You, you just, just gotta be something interesting, something that somebody really feels like buying. Maybe you get some models and you do some interesting stuff and you get them to sign release forms and then you can package and sell that footage for between like $200, $500 of video, just depending on what it is. Uh, if you have the ability to do motion graphics or uh, stuff in After Effects, you could sell those templates as well, make some money there. So there's a lot of opportunity with just licensing your video footage and being able to make money off of it in that way. And in terms of where you could make the most money, I would say that video blocks is one of your top options just because again, you're not doing like a 50-50 or a 70-30 revenue split like you would with other stock sites. So the fourth way I'm gonna cover in this video that you can make money with your video content is to actually package and create a video product. Something I'm looking at doing is in addition to the videos here on YouTube and in some of the other platforms that I'm looking at doing is I'm looking at actually making a video product for download that people can buy. I'm gonna make some of the Create Awesome guides and they'll be just covering different topics and things that I feel qualified to teach and package for my audience. You know, some of these guides might be $20, they might be $30, they might be 50. Um, I, I think I won't go any higher than 100, but you could charge whatever you want and then you could use um, a site like Gumroad or you could use a site like eJunkie and you could have direct downloads. There's a couple of other sites that you could use. You could, you could use ClickBank. You can use all these to directly do the sales and then you're paying maybe like a service fee or a monthly fee. You might pay $5 a month or $20 a month or whatever the hosting fees are. You might even find a way to do it with your own website and pay the hosting fees that you're already paying and you could just package that, sell through PayPal, whatever, and people can buy your product and you're keeping maybe 90% of the profit minus whatever your service fees, taxes, whatever those things look like to create a video download product or package a DVD or something like that. So making your own product is a huge way to make money off of your video content. In fact, wanting to make those quality guides and not have to worry about having all the footage or you know getting the audio or using YouTube's free audio stuff is part of why I'm using video blocks and audio blocks for that stuff because I can then just up my production values just a little bit more and make them more interesting. I mean, I could obviously just do it as a regular talking head video like this, but I don't think that has as much value for the audience as if I can splice in one, obviously B-roll and things I'm shooting on my own, but also some interesting things to put into context, especially if I do a guide on video editing, I would want to use B-roll because then I can demonstrate the importance of it in the cutting and editing and storytelling process. So these are just things to think about and there's other things I would recommend you do with that as well. Incorporate motion graphics into your videos. And if you can't do that in After Effects, you can get templates from video blocks to do that. So if you want a really fancy title sequence and you can't do the stuff that I'm doing in After Effects, then maybe this helps you because then you could just swap out a logo or swap out your name or do whatever. So I'm gonna make sure I have links to everything in the description below that I'm talking about so that you can go ahead and check that out for yourself. But again, this is another really good way and probably the best way overall besides licensing your stock footage at those high volume prices in the marketplace, I would say that selling your own product is probably the next best thing and it really just depends on what you feel you can price for. And the fifth and final way we're gonna talk about making money off of your content is actually using 
quality video content to market your business or whatever services you're providing. So obviously on this channel, there are a lot of services that I provide. I obviously do graphic design stuff. I do some consulting and marketing, et cetera. And I do use this channel to promote myself and to get exposure and to bring more people from my audience and convert them into customers. So that is something that you can do with your video content that could have tremendous value for you. I mean, you, maybe you do something like I've done with logo design and that might bring you a customer that's gonna pay $500, $1,000 a project or more. Maybe you end up doing something if you're a video production person, you do some samples, you do a demo reel and that might bring you a job opportunity. So there's all kinds of ways that you can use video content to market yourself and that could have enormous value for you and translate to very high paying jobs or gigs. So I highly recommend you do that in addition to the other things we've talked about in today's video. Just remember there's all kinds of ways that you can take one thing you're doing or two things you're doing, monetize them and turn them into a five tier or even a 10 tier revenue model. And if you're doing all those different things, it will add up. You can make money in YouTube. You can license your stock footage. You can promote and market yourself. You can make an online product. You can do all of these things and you can make a lot of money at it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on five ways to make money off of your video content. If you still have questions, leave those in the comment section below and I'll answer as many of them as I can. Don't forget to check out our sponsor today, Videoblocks and their new marketplace. Consider putting your video stuff up there, selling it and making a ton of money because that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing over this summer while I'm shooting conventions, traveling, doing other things, I'm gonna be putting some of my stuff up in the marketplace and trying to see if anybody's willing to buy it and license it so that I can make that extra revenue, invest more in what I'm doing here at the channel, uh, spend more time creating awesome products for you guys and just putting out more content. So remember to check that out with the link in the description below. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today.